Let's focus on trying to talk to people, see what we could do to help people and build our database. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. A lot of agents, they, they're not really good at picking out the top two or three things that actually produce, that are actually, you know, um, high producing activities. Okay, and then they get bogged down with all these little activities that aren't high productive activities. They matter, but they're not high productive. Um, and I think that's, that's something you need to really think about. You know, um, I'm sure all of you have heard billionaires, you know, they focus on one thing a day. Once they get that one thing done, they're done for the rest of the day. That's kind of how I operate. You know, I have like two or three things that I'm really focused on. I'm laser focused on it. I don't care about anything else. A lot of new agents come in and they, they spend a lot of time on their website and their business cards and learning contracts and all this stuff that really doesn't matter <laughs> unless you have clients. You know, it's like, go, let's, let's focus on trying to talk to people, see what we can do to help people and build our database. Building a database is the number one objective, you know, for an agent right under making people feel comfortable with you. Okay, so communication is the key to all this and making your clients feel comfortable with, with you and who you are, that you work hard, you're dependable, you're professional, you're gonna do what you say, you're gonna make the transaction smooth. They have to feel that. <laughs> and you have to get really good at communicating that literally within like the first couple seconds through your tone, your, your body language. Um, even when you're on the phone, people can hear your body language, um, the speed of your voice, you know, all the above. So, you know, it used to take me all night to look up a hundred numbers, copy and paste them on Spokio or, or Bigfoot.com or White Pages and look up a hundred people. And then it took me all day the next day to dial those numbers with my finger. So it was like a 15 hour process to look up a hundred numbers and dial those numbers. Now you can literally click a mouse a couple times, get all those numbers, click another mouse, automatically dial, blow through those numbers in an hour and a half. You can do things 10 times faster. You, you can do what took me 15 hours and then in an hour and a half and still have the whole day ahead of you to do other productive activities. I got in real estate in 2002, um, made a mill before I was 23 because the market exploded. Um, by 2005, that was the last property I sold as the market was crashing. Ended up losing everything. Um, you know, I went back to roofing houses with my dad. That's what I did when I was growing up and got a job on an oil rig, and I read 100 books during that time because I was so curious of why I failed. Like, what did I do wrong? Um, you know, I just, I thought that I was, you know, had my head on straight, was trying to do all the right things, lost everything, lost a lot of money. So somewhere in there, I realized that the reason that I failed was because I was, all, I, once that fast money started happening, then I just started to focus on the money and the deals and I was just trying to get deals done and I, I just totally lost focus on helping people and it was more about the deals and making money. And that's literally why I lost everything because I was so focused on that. When the market crashed, I just felt like all that went away and I didn't know how to handle the situation. You know, now knowing what I know now, you know, back then was a great time to continue to plow through because, you know, when I was on the oil rig, I, was, I still had my MLS. The only two things I had was MLS and my cell phone bill. I didn't have a car, no insurance, rent, nothing. Um, and in MLS, I was watching it, you know, and, and I was realizing that a lot of my clients that were buying at the top when I was an agent were still buying at the bottom. They were selling their bad assets, buying better assets. And, you know, I also realized that, you know, going back through there, it's, it's you know, you realize that your clients are still buying and selling. And then I look at the market and I, I realized it hit me one day, I was like, closings are still happening every day. You know, they went down quite a bit, but they were still happening. And there were hardly any agents. So when I really tried, when I really broke it down, I realized, wait a minute, there was more transactions per agent at the bottom than there was at the top because there were so many agents at the top. There were so many agents, there was a lot of deals, but a lot more agents. At the bottom, there were so few agents and you know less deals, but there was more transactions per agent at the bottom. 
And that was a little staggering to me. So that's when I realized and something hit me. I was like, I need to build my business on people. So I got back in the business. I got laid off from the oil rig in 2008 and I started talking to people differently. You know, it was more about them and what I could do to help them and talking to them like they're my mom or dad or brother or cousin. You know, that's the real secret to business, I think, is talking to people like they're your mom, dad, brother or cousin. Oh, 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 oh,